Welcome to the legislature, Representative Zaros. Thank you. I I, uh, I don't hear that too often yet. It's only been two weeks, you know. So uh, thank you. It's it's an honor, and I'm very humbled and grateful that uh, the citizens of my district, which is obviously part of Barnstable, all of Sandwich, part of Bourne and Plymouth. It's 45,000 people. Uh, and it's, it's an honor to do this job and I'm here to serve. And so thank you for asking me to come on. Uh, being an elected official is new. I've been a police officer, as you may know, for 40 years. But it's really just another extension of service. And that's that's why I chose to uh, retire and run for this, was to keep serving in a bigger way. And uh, there's so much going on. So I'd love to talk to you uh, today and in the future. Fantastic. And this Beacon Hill Beat show is really designed to give our uh, residents an understanding of what happens outside the town, right? So as a government channel, we we cover all government in Barnstable in our town, but we also uh, cover um, uh, the state and the uh, federal government as well. Why don't you give us a little indication of the big sandy shoes you're going to have to fill. Uh, Randy Hunt was our representative for many, many years, and we thank him for his service. But as you start out, give us your first impressions of what your first couple of weeks have been uh -huh. at the State House. I mean, how uh, exciting. It's very exciting. Yes. Yeah. So Randy Hunt, Amazing. What a great uh, mentor for me, you know, so it's wonderful. Now he has retired from this job uh, as state rep and uh, sold his home in Sandwich and uh, is living in the Boston area. So, but we stay in touch all the time. And what it's like, someone said in the beginning, it's like trying to get a drink of water out of a fire hose because there's so much information coming, especially to the new reps, because Agencies from all over the state, uh, nonprofits, uh, like yesterday, I spent two hours with the treasurer's office, you know, uh, this morning, it was the insurance agents. So there's so many things that go on in government. And I love it. It's very exciting. And I think it's important to know, you know, I live in West Barnstable, so I'm a Barnstable resident. My district is West Barnstable and half of Marston's Mills. The rest is my brother, Kip Diggs. You know, what a, you know, what a amazing story. Two, two men who have never run for public office uh, did it. And uh, there's only 17 new representatives in the state. There are 160 representatives, 40 senators, but only 17 new ones. So Kip Diggs and I share that. Not only do we go to the same barber, but we are we are colleagues and friends, and we both, you know, lost a son, and uh, that's that's something to um, to share that no parent wants to, but we we do, and we do our best to to honor our sons, but and help others. So on opening day on on January sixth, we were the first two in the state house. You know, we sat you know, socially distanced next to each other. And uh, we looked at each other and, he, and we said, did you ever think we would be here in the state house, in the people's house, this beautiful building in Boston on Beacon Hill representing Barnstable, you know, and, and other parts of the Cape. It's beautiful. So that was exciting. The sad part was when we walked out at around four o'clock, you know, we were there at 8.30 in the morning and left at four o'clock. That's when we first heard about what was going on in Washington. And uh, I drove home and, and watched it on the news. So we went from, you know, the people's house in Boston to this beautiful ceremony to watching the news and seeing, you know, the opposite in Washington. And uh, it reminded us we need to work together. And we do, we naturally do. And Representative Tim Whalen also has Barnstable. So, the, for the residents of Barnstable, you have kind of three reps that are dedicated to helping and serving others. It's been very exciting. There's a lot to learn, but I love it. 
And I think another thing that people should know is reach out. People should know that part of our job as representatives is to help you with any issue. So it could be an insurance claim. It could be uh, housing. It could be your license was suspended from the registry and you can't get a hold of them because of COVID. And that's what we do. We have connections all over the state and we help people all day long, every day. So please reach out. That's fantastic. Um, let's talk a little bit about that storied first walk into those doors. Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, people who have not been to the state house once COVID's over should schedule uh, some type of tour there because it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, but when you walked into that room and you found your seat, right, because you've got an assigned seat there and you had all sorts of different information coming at you, what were some of those moments that really stuck out in your mind? Uh, I know that you were sworn in, uh, that you were meeting other people within the state house. What are some of those moments that sort of stuck for, with you? You make a great point. And, and please, everyone should go to the people's house when we get back to normal. I'd love to set that up if you live in Barnstable. Yeah, let's go. Let's take a tour. You would be so proud. So some of my thoughts, I, I just kept staring at the walls, you know, where uh, these these beautiful murals and statues of of American freedom, you know, American freedom began in Massachusetts. And uh there's so much history in the state house. And I have been there as a police officer testifying and also as a gold star father. There's so many uh, moments that honor our military and our veterans. It's very uh, humbling and you should be very proud. It's a beautiful building. People should see it. It's the people's house. And uh, also, you know, the whole COVID crisis, you know, normally it's 200 it's the state representatives, 160 and 40 senators, and let's say all their family and friends. This time, it was nothing like that. So because of COVID, it was only 17 new uh, reps in, in the room, no family, no friends. And um, there was Kip Diggs and I, you know, and both from Barnstable. And we went up and took a picture together it's just so it's hard to describe, but it's very emotional, very powerful. And that's what government is. We're there for the people. Um, and to be a representative, uh, I, I was so proud to have uh, made it and won't let people down. It's, it's in my blood to serve. And, but I do want people to come to the State House uh, when it gets back to normal. It's one of the most beautiful and historic buildings in the world. And, and I took every moment in and we, that's why Kip and I got there early and we left one of the last ones to leave. And I'll, I'll, I'll never forget one thing a man said, the security guard uh, let me in and it was very quiet because it was early. And he looked at me and he said, welcome to your new home. And I'll never forget that. It was very that's, special. That's fantastic. So let's talk a little bit. You got a lot of work in front of you. Uh, the town of Barnstable, the largest town on the Cape, um, right. obviously has uh, some uh, uh, challenges as we look to wastewater, as we look to climate change, as we look to um, some of the uh, things that govern our state that affect us. Um, what are some of the initiatives that you hope to bring to the forefront in your time as representative? That's a great question. We are lucky uh, to live in Barnstable. Incredible leadership. And part of getting ready was I've met with, uh, you know, the town administrator, the, the council president, some of the councilors. A lot of them I already knew from being a police officer and a, a resident. But you should be very proud of Barnstable, the government hasn't skipped a beat in the middle of COVID. You know, thank God for Zoom and, and being able to meet like this because that's how we do it. And a big issue, as everybody knows, is wastewater. We need to keep, first of all, our drinking water clean. So we have to make sure it's protected. And that's where, you know, pesticides and 
and let's say fertilizer on your lawns, it all ends up in the drinking water and, and we don't want that. So the town of Barnesville has taken a lot of good steps to prevent that. And obviously wastewater. You guys, uh, we are gonna start, you know, a billion dollar project that's spread out over 30 years. That's huge. And uh, also what's pretty cool is there's alternative measures. So I've, I've stood in the bogs in, in Marston's Mills and saw this, this plan of reclaiming the bogs, let them go back to the way they were so the state perhaps would buy the bogs and uh, uh, they would go back to the way they were and it actually would help filter the drinking water uh, naturally. It's pretty cool what's, what can happen. Um, so my job as the state representative is to be aware of everything that's out there, not only in Barnstable, but all over the district and help Barnstable make it happen. You know, it costs a lot of money and my job is to get some of that money from the state or federal government and be the voice for our people. And uh, I love doing that. And, uh, you know, it could be a grant, it could be money, it could be a, a bill that we file, or it could be a low interest or no interest loan. You know, there's all kinds of issues that are happening. And uh, I'll be in the middle of that with, you know, Representative Diggs and, and Representative Whale. And, the Cape Cod delegation is very uh, powerful and united, which I think is beautiful. Like, um, you know, we're Republicans, we're Democrats, but what we are are Americans. And we get uh, together uh, through Zoom and other ways, and we will be there for you. Uh, but I think some of the biggest things are, as you mentioned, wastewater, drinking water, and, and I think our health and safety. So I have a big uh, uh, part of of keeping us safe. And remember the opioid crisis is still raging on. You know, last Friday, my next door neighbor, 19 year old girl died uh, because of the opioid crisis. And I have a big uh, passion in that area to help people that suffer from uh, substance use disorder and to put criminals that sell drugs in jail where they should be. So I have a uh, passion for that. And also, you know, remember Sean Gannon was murdered. My Yarmouth police officer was murdered in the town of Barnstable. And we, we still have not had a trial on that. And the K-9 Nero who was shot in the face, uh, that Nero bill did not pass despite all our efforts. So those are things that are on the top of my list, the COVID crisis, helping Barnstable with wastewater, drinking water, and also addressing the opioid epidemic and justice for Sean Gannon and K-9 Nero. We need to allow our paramedics to be able to treat and save the life of an injured police animal. And currently that's not allowed. And uh, one of my things is to fix that. So you've touched upon so many things and uh, obviously this is a new session um, coming up. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, um, Representative. This is really literally the worst time that we have seen yet for the COVID-19 pandemic. We are at the point now that our hospitals really are struggling. Um, we uh, are experiencing as a society fatigue from those actual uh, uh, mandates of trying to wear a mask and being socially distanced. Um, you know, we're, we're in the throes of it right now. What do you want the people of Cape Cod to understand and your district to understand about the COVID crisis and what their part is in helping um, to try to mitigate this, obviously, and save lives, but also as we move forward into the vaccine era? That is the elephant in the room, and I'm so glad you brought that up. I mean, here I am at my desk, I got my mask and I have my you know, hand sanitizer. We cannot give up. And uh, you, you hit on something, you know, we've been dealing with this for 10 or 11 months and it can be fatiguing, but right now is worse than ever. Uh, how do I know that? We get daily reports, you know, over 300 people from uh, Barnesville County have died. 
7,000 have been uh, infected and there's no end in sight right now. So my message would be we're on it, you know, the Cape Cod delegation, the first responders, uh, we need to get our testing sites, you know, easier for people. And then of course the vaccinations are huge, which is huge. Right now, you know, we have 8 million Massachusetts residents, but we only got 300,000 doses to start out. And then getting that to in people's arms twice, there's a lot to it, but we're on it. But the message is don't, don't let up. Uh, my fiance, Denise, is a nurse practitioner and she's on the front lines. And, you know, be proud of Cape Cod Hospital, Cape Cod Healthcare, which is, you know, right here in Hyannis another one in Falmouth, we should be proud and thankful to what they're doing. Right now, the IC unit today is full uh, of COVID patients. And, and just think of this, you know, the odds are you will survive, thank God, due to medicine and, and the doctors and nurses and the whole system, but it is a horrible disease. And, uh, you know, to be face down on a ventilator for months is horrible. So I'm proud of Cape Cod Hospital, Mike Loff, everybody there, the team, this is our hospital. Uh, I'm proud of everyone that's on the front lines, but our citizens just know that it's serious, it's real, you know, mask up, um, keep your hands clean, socially distance. I know we've all heard it, but right now really keep doing it and be ready to, you know, take that vaccine when it comes to you. Everybody is working so hard to keep us safe because we need to get back to normal. We need to open up our businesses and we want to be as ready as we can for the summer of 2021 because tourism is, you know, who we are on Cape Cod. Right. So you mentioned that folks can get a hold of you. Um, do you have uh, that information that you can pass along? I do. I'd like to, you know, I'll send it to you, but Right now, you know, you can't meet really too much in person, but we have, you know, we meet virtually. And uh, so everything is on uh, Stephen Exaro's Facebook page, um, my, uh, my uh, representative page. We have over 7,000 followers. If you're on Facebook, please check it out. We also have a website and an email and a phone number. And my, my go-to person is the chief of staff, Caitlin Wright. Thank God for her. She worked for Representative Crocker. So she has a lot of knowledge already and has been a great uh, helper. So we're a team. But yes, there's a phone number, there's an email, a website, Facebook page, all kinds of ways of getting a hold of us. And I'd like to send it to you. Maybe you could put it on the screen at some point. That would be great. Great. So we, we, we know you have a lot of work and probably more Zoom meetings than you could count for today. <laughs> so we'll, we'll leave this um, with, with one last question. What's your hope for the future? Oh, I love that. We need to stick together. You know, I, I love my country and uh, it, it's not perfect, but, you know, we are the United States of America. I've lived it, you know, my being a police officer, I wore the flag on my shoulder for 40 years. You know, my son Nick came home in a flag draped coffin. And uh, so I, I try to have the flag everywhere I, I am. Um, it's the symbol of freedom. And let's, let's look forward, work together, be proud of who we are, listen to everybody's concerns. Everybody has good knowledge. And uh, we can talk and discuss. That's part of being, uh, you know, an elected official. You know, out of the 17 new representatives, we all, all are different. And we come together, you know, hopefully physically soon. And we work on laws to keep us safe or better. And uh, so my message is, you know, be proud of who you are. Work together. Ignore some of the noise that's out there. Stick to what we're trying to do here in the district and on Cape Cod and let's get it done. Excellent. Welcome. We can't wait to talk to you again. Thank you, Paula. And God bless you guys out there. Stay safe, stay healthy, mask up, and we'll talk to you soon.